Hello and welcome to my music room in sunny Los Angeles. Uh, today I just wanted to do a, a quick video um, to address the issue of, of what format are you going to listen to classical music. Um, us classical musician lovers, it's a very different kind of market to that for jazz and rock and roll. I mean, this channel is ostensibly mainly about a vinyl, and indeed it is. But I've been collecting for many years, and I, I have many CDs, and I, I also stream. And to anyone starting to uh, get into classical music, there are many, many options. It's not just a question of being a vinyl purist. Whereas I think if you're primarily a rock or jazz uh, collector, there are many arguments to be made for, for really just concentrating on vinyl. Now, the reason I say this is that while you've all read articles, etc., about the fact that the, uh, the CDs are going away and vinyl is back, etc., in the classical arena, CDs are far from going away. And, and you add to that uh, high definition downloads, the high definition of format of SACD, which is flourishing in classical music and streaming, um, it's a complicated picture. So I'll try and lay out what this is all about and give some recommendations of how I, I think you can best proceed. There is no doubt about it. There's nothing like listening to a vinyl record. But in classical, just as in everything else, uh, no two records are made the same. And the fact is that a lot of, of LPs, classical LPs, maybe don't sound as good as maybe their CD counterpart. If you're going into um, the sort of boutique reissue label, so if you're buying uh, classical reissues on analog productions, uh, Testament, Speaker's Corner, classic records, uh, mobile fidelity, yeah, there's no doubt those records are going to sound great. They're mastered from the um, master tape, they've done all analog, often with tubes in the signal path, etc. etc. Those records sound amazing. Also, if you're into collecting uh, early pressings or even good later pressings, for example, the Decca catalog, I mean. Pre-digital, all those records you find in the used bins, Decca, pressed in England, they're going to sound really good because Decca was a great label right way through. Even their digital recordings on vinyl are going to sound pretty damn great, some better than others. And again, it's a process. You have to kind of just try it all. Um, but much new music is coming out on CD. And I'm not talking so much here about the big labels which dominated classical music for decades. We're talking here Deutsche Grammophon, EMI, Decca, London, uh, Sony, all those people. Yes, they're putting out really good sounding uh, CDs now, but where the action really is, is in the small boutique labels, uh, independent labels like Hyperion, Shandos, uh, Dutton Laboratories, there's a whole slew of them. And what's really cool about these labels is they're putting out really not just mainstream repertoire, they're putting out less well-known stuff. And they're often putting them out on what we call dual layer CD, SACD. So these are discs which are not only play the CD layer, but they also have a high definition layer on SACD. Now, the thing is, SACD came out whenever it did, about 20 years ago, everyone thought this was gonna be the next big thing, higher resolution than CD, but it never really caught on, except in the classical market for obvious reasons. And when you buy these releases, they're not twice as, ex as expensive. They cost the same as CDs, and yet you have the SACD layer. So I, for many years, only had CDs. And then uh, I was lucky enough to be able to get um, a carry 
audio uh, combination CD, SA CD player used. Um, now I'd actually had a carry player for many years and all I can say is uh, the carry CD players were just phenomenal. I, I, I heard equipment which was three, four, five times as expensive and it didn't sound so good. Um, this is a key part of, if you're going to listen to CDs, SA CDs, you need to have a good player and all players are not created equal. You have to go through the process, you have to audition, etc, etc. But there is a huge difference between uh, different CD, SA CD players and it's not always necessarily just about the more expensive ones being better. Uh, Kerry no longer makes uh, CD, SA CD players, but you can find them used and I cannot recommend them highly enough. Um, and I had a lot of CDs which were dual layer CD and SA CDs. So this is great. Um, in addition, there are companies putting out uh, remasterings of classical repertoire, specifically just for SA CD. These are not dual layer level, dual layer uh, discs. These are just SACDs. But I've managed to pick up some really wonderful stuff. They are more expensive, um, but they sound amazing. Um, now, one company that's doing this quite a bit is Esoteric. And what's great about Esoteric is they, they also go into early digital recordings and remaster them, remix, remaster, have them come out. Uh, these sound amazing. They are so superior to to the originals, either on vinyl or on CD. Um, they will cost you, they tend to sell out very quickly and then the prices go up, but this is a fantastic label. Um, another interesting thing is Deutsche Grammophon, which was a label that um, has never been considered audiophile. Well, guess what? Maybe it was much better than we all thought because the Emil Berliner studio, which is the uh, studio uh, who've basically taken over a lot of Deutsche Grammophon's recording and remastering, they started doing dedicated SACD issues. Um, it was, has done here, the uh, Emil remastered by Emil Berliner Studios. These sound incredible. They completely uh, rewrite what you think Deutsche Grammophon records sound like. Um, just phenomenal. Uh, here's some of the great Stravinsky recordings done by uh, Claudio Abbado with London Symphony Orchestra in the 70s and early 80s. Some of these are all benchmark performances before they've been remastered. Um, and like this is uh, Sacre du Printemps and I think also Pulcinella, or Pulcinella is on the other one, I can't remember. Um, fantastic. Uh, a, a set of Beethoven symphonies, which I have on vinyl, it, it got a very limited release at the time um, and the vinyl never sounded that great. This was the great uh, Czech conductor Rafael Kublik who did a Beethoven cycle in the 70s. What was different about it was he recorded each symphony with a different orchestra. So here is the Emil Berliner remastering on SACD and it's a revelation. I also have a couple of uh, several carry-on recordings that have been remastered for SACD and again a revelation. This is now maybe my favorite cycle uh, except for the ninth um, but it's a fantastic cycle. The sound is so much better than the records I had or it was sort of sporadically reissued on CD I also know that Pentatone, one of these independent labels, uh, reissued some of these on Surround Sound, SACD, um, but this sounds incredible, incredible, completely makes, makes you wonder how many of those Deutsche Grammophon recordings sound much, much better than what I'm used to off, off of records or CD remasterings. So if you're really getting in, into classical, something to consider is, is upgrading your CD player to maybe one that also plays SACD. And there's a wealth 
of material there. It, it's not going away, all these independent labels. Um, I've mentioned, you know, Shandos does it all the time, BIS does it all the time, uh, Pentatone, fantastic stuff. Um, now the other option is uh, downloading high-res files. I have not gotten into this, but I can imagine this is a perfectly viable thing to do. It's probably going to be an improvement on regular CDs in the way that SACD is. Um, go for it. Give it, give it a try. Um, many of these independent labels you can download directly from their sites at, at high resolution and I'm sure they sound great. The other new option which I've really gotten into recently is streaming. Um, now you want to go for streaming which is of, of a higher resolution. I personally go with Tidal uh, at their highest level but interestingly see what I do, all I do is I I plug in my computer to the DAC section of my carry player, which allows me a range of upsampling options. And uh, it sounds wonderful. It's not even a de dedicated, I'm not even using a dedicated streamer. Carry does make those now. What I like is I like uh, being able to navigate as I'm listening on my computer. It's much easier than looking at some tiny little window. Uh, on a dedicated streamer. So what I tend to do now is apart from buying used vinyl, new reissues, um, I'm, I'm not buying as many CDs as I used to. I'm streaming because I'm streaming at CD resolution through my carry DAC section and I, I can just listen to everything and then if there's something that I really want or something that is available in SACD, I go for that in terms of physical product. So that's a, just a quick wrapping up of all the options you have now. I mean, just to sum up, for the best possible sound um, of older recordings on vinyl, yes, vinyl reissues, first pressings, um, that's a whole world unto itself. And obviously I'm gonna get into a lot of that on this channel. But then streaming is a tremendous option, provided you stream at high resolution. You don't want to do MP3 resolution. You want a high resolution, which I believe uh, Apple now offers you. Certainly Tidal is great. There's very little I don't find on Tidal. Having said that, there is still a certain amount of stuff that's been reissued on CD that I don't find on Tidal. I mean, classical music is this huge, huge world, this jungle that you sort of disappear into. Um, and then you also have the option of going with CD, SAD, SACD and, and downloads. But it's never been a better time to be collecting classical. I mean, these independent labels and the major labels too, but in particular the independent labels, the quality of a recording, recorded sound is phenomenal. You're getting extraordinary repertoire that you never would have discovered before and it's, it's just like a, a bonanza. It's, it's a fantastic time to be into classical. Incidentally, if you are not uh, relying exclusively on vinyl etc but you, you mainly are going to go for, for streaming, CD etc, I want to recommend a wonderful channel. Uh, it's a gentleman called David Hurwitz um, he also has a website called Classical uh, CD Review, something like that. I'll put a link below this video. Um, he really knows his stuff and he, he's done all these fantastically entertaining uh, videos. You know, for example, the, the Beethoven Nine Symphonies. He'll pick, he'll do on the first symphony, the second symphony, third symphony. He'll go through, select all the different, what he thinks are good recordings and then pick a one that he thinks is the best and he does that for the whole cycle or he focuses on a box set of all the cycles and like which box set might you get. So he's only really talking about CDs um, but that's applicable to, to streaming, to CDs and if you're buying uh, older vinyl um, you know in the used store, you know older DG, Philips, Decca, EMI etc 
you know, many of these recordings he's, he's talking about were originally put out on vinyl. So I, I, if you really want to get into the weeds on, on classical music, he is a great resource. I only discovered him recently and I'm just having a ball listening to his videos. I'm, I'm discovering so many recordings I, I didn't know before. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful as you embark on your classical collecting uh, lifetime, because it is a lifetime. It's so much fun. Anyway, many thanks for watching and good night.